Hi, this video is for anyone that followed my tutorial to make this ring and you have Rhino 6 and you weren't able to make the wooden material on the sides of the ring because if we look over here in the materials list, that material is a physically based material. And I've heard that Rhino 6 doesn't actually have physically based materials. So I'm hoping that what I'm offering you right now is a solution to that problem. Uh, we're going to see if we can match that material uh, on these stones, right, or these inlaid uh, pieces right here. Okay, so we'll start off by creating a new material. We'll use custom, custom materials. I think Rhino 6 has custom materials. I don't know if it'll have all of the options that my Rhino has. Uh, we'll call this um, Darkwood 2. And we'll drag that over onto our uh, pieces here. You can't see any difference right now because they're still white. Okay, we'll come down here to the color box, click on this drop down, and click on Assign Texture. This is going to open up your file browser. Go to wherever you have that wood texture stored. Um, if you follow it along in my previous tutorial, you probably already downloaded this, this texture. If you don't have it, I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can download this texture, okay? Okay, so now uh, even just this is looking pretty good, but we can we can make it a little bit better. So we have, if I'm just gonna go ahead and widen this uh, column out a little bit. We have here an option called reflectivity, and we also have uh, way down here, we have an option called reflective polish, okay? So uh, if we move this reflectivity a little bit, you can see that we get a reflection. It doesn't take much. If you remove it very, if you move it very much, the reflection becomes very bright. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll just keep it down around, uh, say, maybe 3%. All right. And if we scroll down to ref reflective polish, Right now you can see that this line is pretty sharp, uh, but we have our metal at 85% polish. So if we look at the metal material for the silver, you can see it's 85% polished. Okay, but this dark wood looks like it's 100% polished. Whereas on the material that I made on the old tutorial, the other tutorial, you can see that polish level seems to match the polish level of the metal. If we scroll all the way down, we've got this reflective polish level. And uh, if we take that down to 85%, you can see that it looks like it matches a little bit better. Uh, now we might need to increase that reflectivity a little bit. Let's try a 5%. Okay, so that uh, that looks like that's, that's pretty good. That matches it pretty good. Uh, another option, so I, I would consider that uh, a good substitute for the material I used over here. Another way you can do this for some reason is you can come down here to Fresnel Reflectivity, turn that on, and then you can really pump up this reflectivity here. So put it at like 100, okay? Uh, so that's another way, maybe, maybe 90, okay? So something like that, you can also do that. You can pump up the reflectivity really high if you turn on Fresnel reflectivity. All right, so um, I hope that helps. I don't know if it'll work for people who have Rhino 6. If there's anybody out there who ran into that problem and this helps you, let me know. If it doesn't help you, if it still won't work, let me know that also. All right, thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see you in future videos.